Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our Nothing to Something series, episode two. You guys loved it last episode, so I decided to do the second episode today. So, this is the last video. We were at 1K with a Shaggy. We've made it all the way up to 4K. So we made a whole ton of profit. And I'm gonna show you guys all the trades, all the profit we've made. And guys, make sure to watch the entire video. I give you guys tips and tricks on what you can do to go as a trader. So let's see what items I have. Um, let's look at my inventory real quick. We have Guardian Angel Wings, a Shaggy Cosmo Sloth, uh, an Egg Up Equinox, Summer Bowler, Zebra Cap, totaling over 4K value. So yeah, guys, we basically quadrupled our value. So guys, before we start the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoy this type of content. And let's get right into the video. All right, guys, since my last video, it's been two weeks and we completed a whole ton of trades. Um, these are my inbounds. I've looked through them, but uh, this one is the only interesting trade that I might I, cons I might consider. But I'm gonna try to look for a 200 overpay. I'm kind of looking for more. But yeah, this is a solid overpay. Um, I'll definitely think about it. Um, so this is the last trade we did. If you guys want to, you can slow down the video and look through all these trades. But I'm not gonna bore you with looking at all these trades because we're not here to just look at my trades. We're here to see me trading and stuff so let's go in the two weeks that we've been trading um we've done a ton of trades and i was pretty consistent but not as consistent as i wanted to be so guys we i only actually have one more day of premium and um we're gonna try to like get to i don't know whatever we can in that time because i only have one day to trade and i'll just after this, we'll start trading and we'll see what we can do. Getting trades may sometimes feel a little hard, but if you are consistent and trading um, like for a long time, you are bound to get trades done. So go and trade, hang out, look at trade ads. And this trade right here, I actually got it from trade ads, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, just be consistent and talk to the right people and there. You can get a lot of trades done. And yeah, guys, those are all the trades we've done to get to 4,000. Out of all those trades, there were a few trades that were really good. And the way I got those trades was through looking at trade ads and um, trade hangout. Just looking for opportunities. And guys, today's my last day of trading, so uh, let's just see what we can do. Um, and yeah all right guys after being in trade hangout for a while this guy came up to me and offered on my shaggy so um he's sending the trade and i think we might get a good trade from him and sure enough it's actually a good trade a 100 overpay on shaggy um this is quite a good overpay and it's only a 2v1 so i'm gonna try to get just a little more and we'll talk to him about it and see what he does. After a little bit of discussion, we agreed on these two trades, but I actually didn't have Robux, so I'll be accepting this one. But overall, it's a great trade, a great overpay on Shaggy. And considering the fact I got Shaggy in a downgrade, this is, this is really good. And this adds on to our profit. So there we go. All right, guys, my premium actually ended, but before it ended, I actually managed to do this trade. It was inbound earlier. I overpaid 30 for chill cap, which is not bad. I mean, um, chill cap is a pretty good demand item. So yeah, with that, we completed today's episode. Um, this was just more of a catch up thing. Um, I'm gonna get my premium back very soon and we'll continue with episode three. Ended with this here, basically 4,100. Um, some tips I have for you guys. I'm gonna have three tips and the first one is be consistent So to grow your value, you need to be very consistent in trading so you can like maximize your opportunities um, And just grow your value tip number two 
know what to give for items in order to make profit so you have to know how much you have to give like an example is a shaggy i wouldn't give more than like a 60 overpay on a shaggy because realistically realistically i'm trying to get as much profit as possible and giving more than that will make me lose profit so know what overpays to give third and final tip is never feel pressured to accept a trade um just because someone tells you oh um you better accept or i'll decline don't feel pressured always be comfortable enough to walk out of a trade because you're trading with someone um, because you want to and you're trying to grow your value so you shouldn't accept L trades because someone pressured you to. Okay, so always, if you feel like you don't wanna do a trade, you can always walk out. All right, and with that guys, we've ended our episode here. I know we didn't do a lot of trades or make a lot of profit, but this was more of a, like a catch up to like all the trades I've done because I haven't recorded for like two weeks. But yeah, I should be getting premium very soon. And, and the next episode should be here very soon. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment if you have anything to say. Um, peace out and have a nice day, week or month or whatever. Have a great time.